Hey GearHeads, Nate here from the tech support team and today we're doing a little video on the BG B20 SHA box camera and this is a great camera for like live streaming as you can see it's very compact it's great for maybe like putting it in the corner or like using it for a fixed angle um, it's very easy to set up it actually has a multiple outputs includes HDMI SDI, 3G SDI, and a LAN port to connect to your network. It also supports uh, PoE, so you can just plug it into a PoE network switch and power right on without any additional power. Additionally, it supports 1080p over six, at 60 hertz uh, resolution, so a fine camera just to use for live streaming, like studios, podcasts, education, security. Also, it's a great camera for a secondary camera angle if you have a PTZ camera possibly one of ours, and you want a secondary camera to uh, jump back and forth from, this is a great one that you can set up probably pretty far away because it does have a 20x optical zoom and you could have a nice fixed, you know, wide angle or even a zoomed in angle just to have a camera just jump back and forth from. And so today we're just doing a little demonstration on how to set up the camera and live stream to YouTube. So let's dive in. To start, for our setup, we actually powered up the camera using the PoE functionality of the camera. We just used a Cat6 cable, plugged the camera into our local PoE switch, and the camera powered on right away. We set it up about 15 feet away from us, and uh, so the next thing we're going to do is you want to make sure you get this camera on your local network. If you have not done that yet, uh, there's actually some how-to videos on how to do that, so we'll put some links up on the video right here. So once you've got your camera network, come on back here, and we'll go over how to get it onto YouTube. There we go. So we'll go ahead and log in with our camera. It's on our local network now, and the web interface is actually very similar to our VPDZ camera series. Next to, there we go. Username and password are both admin lowercase. Close. All right, there is our camera. And like I mentioned earlier, we're about 15 feet away or so. That's our wide angle. And actually for this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and zoom in and set our camera angle for our YouTube stream. There we go. And um, yeah, now let's go ahead and connect this to YouTube. And so this is really easy once we got it on our local network, we just had to configure some things and uh, grab some things from our YouTube channel here. Go to go to YouTube and click on, click on that go live button. It's gonna pull up your YouTube, YouTube studio. I'm gonna go back to our camera web interface and we're gonna to go to RTMP. And we're gonna enable that and we're gonna put our stream key and our stream URL back both in right in here to connect it to YouTube. So we'll grab our stream key, stream, actually our stream URL first, copy that. And for this camera, you're gonna put them back to back. So we're gonna put it there and then you're gonna add in a forward slash to add in the stream key. And we'll use our default here. And make sure it's enabled. Port number for YouTube is 19, 1935. Hit save. Save successful. And give it a second. We'll go over to YouTube. It's going to take a second to connect. Excellent condition. There we go. And then it'll take a second to, to pop up there. <laughs> And we are live, and obviously there's gonna be a little lag between, or a little latency between the actual camera and the feed, but we are live right now on YouTube. So really easy to use, really easy to control, and if I wanna zoom right back out, you can actually zoom back out right here if I wanna set a better, different angle. The camera also, on the back of the camera, has a manual zoom in and zoom out as well as a manual focus if you want to adjust that as well but i like using the web interface to control my zooming in and out as well as the focus so there you have it well thanks for tuning in today and don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have any questions leave it in the comments below we'll get back to you as soon as we can other than that have a great day